Every fighting game has that one character that no one likes fighting, and in Street Fighter 6. And you know, it's, it's kind of funny in ways that in Street Fighter 5, people really hated fighting M. Bison, and now JP is kind of carrying the Psycho Power legacy. When fighting JP, you want to maintain a mid range distance because this is probably where he is at his weakest. But obviously, getting there can be a little bit difficult because all of his combos will knock you down full screen, and full screen JP zoning is just completely oppressive. One thing you need to get in the habit of when fighting against JP is parrying his projectiles. You want to reserve your drive gauge as much as possible against this character because burnout is brutal against him. Another reason that you would want to use parry a lot is because he does have the overhead and the low shadow, so parry pretty much takes care of this. But still, this means that you're just standing full screen not taking damage, but how can you actively approach JP? To do this, you need to understand how his zoning works. His spikes will always be minus 2 regardless of where you are on the screen, right? On the other hand, his shadows will actually depend on the distance they travel. Blocking a shadow attack full screen pretty much means that you can't move. You can jump, you can dash, because a follow up spike will catch you every single time. He is simply way too plus at this moment for you to be able to move. On the other hand, whenever you block a spike, you get to move before JP, so you can evade one of his follow-up zoning techniques. Now, if you're too predictable with your jumps or dash, sure, he will be able to anticipate it and punish you, but yeah, rule of the thumb is, after blocking a spike, you get to move. And the good thing about trying to parry his projectiles and spikes is that even from about half a screen distance or three quarters, if you happen to get a perfect parry on the spike, you can actually drive rush forward and even get a combo punish on JP. Another thing that you need to understand about JP is how his shadows work, because they will only attack you when they are at very close proximity. This means that if you can move through them fast enough, you will actually be able to punish him and go through them without getting attacked. Whether your character have a really fast drive rush that can do this, or if you're using drive rush with a conjunction of a fast forward attack because they carry over the momentum so your character will move forward a lot, or if you even have a tackle move like a Honda headbutt or a Blanca ball, all of these are great answers to his shadows. And once you have gotten JPs to the mid range, now the fight kinda begins because his movement is kinda slow, he does have some good pokes like crouching medium kick and standing medium punch, but they're not cancelable, he does have a drive rush but it's not terribly fast, and most of his zoning options are pretty committal at this distance. One thing you have to be very careful of when fighting against JP is when you can drive impact. Typically, JP players love to special cancel their standing heavy bunch and they can cancel it into the shadow moves or the cane swings, but typically you can't punish these with drive impact. If you try, he will recover first and be able to punish you, you will lose a ton of drive and now you're back again full screen. Unfortunately, even if he does cancel into the AX shadows, which push you back a fair amount, there's not much that you can do about this. that JB is cancel his jab into the cane swing then then yes this one you can drive him back and his light bunch cane swing when he say away this one is minus 10 on block so you can get a punish on him the medium bunch version is where he says step aside this is minus 8 some characters with the use of supers will be able to get a punish but this is highly character specific Now, what to do against his command grab, because this is a technique that a lot will struggle against, especially in the mid range, it certainly can catch you off guard. What you want to do here is you want to focus on the voice line and focus on his hand placement. He will say, away, and when he does this, jump, and jump 
forward. I know that most of us are likely trained to jump back or like neutral jump when we activate a command grab, but if you get a jump forward on him, you will punish him every single time. This move have a ton of recovery on whiff. When he does his shadow move, the one that attack you, he will say, go, and his hand will be behind him, where if he command grab you, he will say, away, and he will extend his hand forward. Audio cues are incredibly important against JP. Obviously, it's a lot to look out for, right? Because you're also looking for his drive impact, his drive rush. You're looking just for his regular zoning with punishing and all of that. And that is where the difficulty of fighting against JP comes from. There is a lot of things that you have to be looking out for. And that is what makes him a really good character. Now, let's say you happen to get the advantage. You have knocked JP down. You thinking, well, now it's my chance. But unfortunately, you still have to deal with his incredibly annoying counter move. Unfortunately, this move means that trying to go for a meaty throw against JP or even throw lubing him is incredibly dangerous, but there are some counter plays that you can do. Shimmying is incredibly good here because you will get massive punishes on him. Neutral jumping is also one of the best options, but obviously neutral jumping is a little bit more risky because if he did nothing, he can anti-air you with his crouching heavy punch and then push you away once more. Some characters have the ability to use meaty projectiles, but this is also highly character specific. So if your cutter got one of those, then you know, that's great. Now, what is universally the best way to deal with it that is available to all character is to jab meaty JP. Because even when the counter activates, more likely than not, your character will have plus frames. This means that you can try to hit him or you can try to grab him right and the bombs doesn't hit right away there is like half a second before it activates so if you can combo into an animation or even just get to knock him down again and get some sort of a trade if your character got a command grab maybe go for it it creates a scramble situation but it's hardly one where you need to completely let him get out for free another thing you absolutely can't let jv use for free is his level 2 super and this one is kind of a tricky thing to deal with but the thing is if he activates it in the neutral if you're not just close to him you can most likely just drive rush forward or even jump and completely escape the thing you only have to deal with it when he does it while you're blocking while you're in block stun then we kind of have a situation his shadows attack in the order of mid overhead low overhead although i typically don't advise trying to block this one, it's almost always better to use a parry. Now, there are a couple of things you need to know here. The first one is there are gaps between the shadow attacking, right? So he can throw you if you're holding a parry, but remember that you actually have a drive reversal option out of the parry and you can use the gaps yourself just as much as he does. So you can go for invincibility, you can go for a parry and then drive reversal, you can go for parry and then you throwing him, you typically don't have to sit there and take it. Now finally I wanted to touch on his teleport and when he set up the portal and then teleport to it, there is a very important and very distinct audio cues that will trigger when JB triggers his teleport. It kind of reminds me of Devil May Cry 4 when like you opened one of the door or like the loading screen. I don't know, it really reminds me of this one. But yeah, as soon as you hear it, do your anti-air and you will be able to snatch JB out of the air. He will be in an airborne state and you will be able to get a juggle on him. He's a difficult character to play against for sure. He is very powerful for sure the battle is tedious and annoying and frustrating for sure but with some work he is beatable if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like or a comment it helps the channel so much i will be leaving a link to the patreon discord twitter and twitch pages in the description thank you so much for watching and stay safe